Let's learn how to add invincibility power up into Build Box 3 game. And countdown timer when it ends. All of this can be done with current nodes. No code required. So, let's get started. Adamax Games. For invincibility power up, I'm using progression template. Open assets library. I import two spheres and one cube. Renaming first sphere as shield. Changing its color to red. And alpha channel to 200. Alpha channel is opacity. For PC users, it's alpha channel. For Mac users, it's opacity. Renaming second sphere as power up. Deleting cubes mesh and renaming it as countdown. Open shields node map. Add of collide node. Affected asset is enemy. And connect it with start node. Now add damage node. Change target to sensor. Just in case, I change amount to 2. Connect it with if collide node. Add delay node. In this example, power up lasts 3 seconds. Connect it with start node and add remove node. Also, I'm adding a trail node for shield power-up. Back to 3D world and open power-up node map. Add of collide node. Affected asset is character. And connect it with start node. Add send node. I set event name as shield. Connect with if collide node. Add delay node with value of 0.1. And connect with if collide node. And add remove node. Back to 3D world and open countdown node map. Add three animation nodes. Renaming first as three, drag number three PNG file and open sprite editor by clicking pen icon. Change frames to 30 as 30 frames are one second. Same deal with other two animation nodes. Add move node. Because character is moving, text needs to keep up. Add state machine node. We need three inputs and outputs. Connect first input with start node and first output with number 3 animation. Connect animation output with second state machine input 
and output with second animation node, and its output with third state machine input, and output with last animation node. Add delay node with value of 3. And connect it with start node. Also, remove node. Back to 3D world and open spiky enemies node map. Add health node, set health value to 1. Add defeat node, check remove box, and connect with health defeat output. Back to 3D world and open characters node map. Add receive node. Event name is shield. Add spawn node. Select shield asset. Check as child and ignore scale boxes. Connect it with receive node. Add another spawn node for timer text. Select countdown asset. Check ignore rotation and ignore scale boxes. And Y value a bit higher. Connect it with receive node. Back to 3D world and add power-ups to your scene. And let's see what we got here. It is working. Yay! BB doc file is in description. You will need latest beta release to open it. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye bye.